Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So I am back at another auction and I am flying solo today. So we are in Indiana and they have their normal horse sale today, but there's also gonna be a few extra horses. So I felt like let's just make the trip down. I just wanted to check out what they had. So I'm gonna go get my bidder number and then we're gonna walk around and look at the horses and see if any of them pique my interest. I don't really know what to expect today or what exactly I'm looking for per se. I'm just here because it's something to do and you know we'll just see if, if anything pops up because I'm always looking to buy. It just depends on the horse and all the variables, right? It was about a two hour drive from my farm. So not horrible, but you know, I figured I really don't have plans today. So let's go check it out. All right, I got my bidding number and my catalog. So let's go see what's here today. I'm definitely excited because you never know what can happen or what horse is gonna show up at an auction, right? Also have a bunch of tack that you can buy too. But yeah, I have quite a few auctions planned between now and end of fall. And I'm also like wanting to buy, but I'm also wanna be like selective sort of because I can't just buy like a ton of them. And what if like another wonderful horse comes along at the next auction, right? So it's really tough. Hi. This one's super pretty. You're so cute. You're super big. You are tall. Wow, that's a nice Palomino. Hi! Wow, you are so pretty. I really liked this Palomino. He was a great size, tall, but I did notice he had a little bit of a bump on his back left cannon. And again, you just don't know for sure at an auction, so you have to be careful, but he looked sound and like just a nice horse. So there's definitely different calibers of auctions. You have ones that have very high end horses, and then you have kind of like a mid tier. And here at this auction, you can find some very lovely horses, but then you can find some with some nicks and bumps, which is all normal that's just gonna be a part of looking at horses. Like no horse is perfect, right? You just need to be aware. But I always see new things like this one's back, lip, jaw. There's always just gonna be certain things that stand out to you, but little markings and blemishes. I don't think there's something to basically make or break buying a horse, but you just wanna be aware and conscientious and look at the horse in its entirety. I truly believe that every horse is beautiful no matter what their condition is and they all deserve to you know, have a great home. But again, you do have to be aware of what you're purchasing, especially at an auction, and try to have a little more of an understanding of what you're getting into. Anytime you buy a horse from anywhere, it's a risk, but at an auction, it's even a bigger risk. And that's why I think it's just really important to know what you're doing when you come to auctions and understand the process and understand horses. You are ginormous. You're such a big bull. The truth about auctions is that there's going to be sellers who actually do care about their horse and they need the money and they think this is the best way to go about it. And then there's people who just dump their horses because they didn't take good care of them, right? So there's going to be all of that and then the in-betweens. And sometimes it is really hard to see some of the horses that are taken to auctions and their hoof condition and then other issues that you see. It is really hard sometimes. But me personally, I am not a rescue. So what I do is I find horses that have potential to be riding horses because I'm not, you know, funded, grant funded or donation funded. I pay for everything myself. And what I'm doing is looking for horses that have potential and work with them for one to five years and try to find them a really good home afterwards. Now, sometimes I will take on rescues or major projects too, but I am not a rescue. What I do is unique and completely different. Now, if I had all the money in the world, or if I'm ever rich someday, like I said, I will do more rescue work. Well, there's definitely good and bad at auctions, that's for sure. I was walking around looking at all of the horses when all of a sudden the most gorgeous horse caught my eye through the panels. He was big, beautiful, I mean, just completely stunning. I've just almost never seen a horse as unique and beautiful as him. I was in complete shock. Oh my gosh. Hi. 
When I was looking him over, he appeared to be healthy. He didn't seem sick. He didn't have any lumps, bumps, cuts, or anything out of the ordinary. This one is so pretty. Hi, Angel. Hi. You are so cute. <laughs> what a sweet. I really, really like him and I do feel a connection and I think he'd be a good fit because he's big, he's tall, he can carry most riders. Now I just have to find the owner and when he goes in the ring, I think I'm gonna bid on him. I'm gonna see if I can watch him move a little bit too. His hooves look pretty good other than he needs a trim and he does have shoes on, but you know, that can be pretty common on most horses. So I'm not super concerned about that. And then looking at his teeth, he's about 15 years old, give or take. And I did verify that through a vet and then they said he was 15. He's literally going in the ring now. His owner said that he's just amazing, a great trail horse, super safe, and she has to sell for personal reasons. So he's coming in the ring now and I'm completely freaking out. I'm literally having a meltdown. I don't know what to do. My trailer's not even here. Kyle's not here and I'm bidding on him. So I bid on him and this is what happened. Okay, that was absolutely crazy. So I really wanted that horse. He was big, he was beautiful. I really honestly liked him for Kyle, myself, my program, everything. And obviously it's just me here, right? So I had to bid on him so I couldn't really film anything. But what happened was me and like another guy got in a bidding war. And it's funny because I was like talking to him when I first got here and he was so nice and he didn't know he was bidding against me. And then we're just going back and forth, back and forth. And then it just kept going up and up. He was only at 3,700, but I just knew it was gonna keep going and going and going. Plus I don't have a trailer here. I could have figured it out, but you know, just all of those variables. So I just stopped bidding. But then afterwards I went down and talked to him. I was like, hey, why'd you steal my horse from me? And he was kind of laughing. And he's like, I didn't know it was you, I'm sorry. But like, I don't have a trailer or anything here today. So it would have just been more complicated. Um, but he's gonna take him home. And if I really want him, I can buy him from him then. And I can talk to Kyle about it a little more. So um, he doesn't live super close to me, but it could be manageable. But yeah, it was just like really intense and like emotional because ah, like auctions are just so tough. I just knew he was gonna keep going up and up and up and I'm not gonna play that game and get in a bidding war. You know what I mean? Not saying he's not worth that price, but who knows what it would have stopped at. Yeah, that was wild. So I didn't get him. I don't think any horse is gonna top the last one today, but of course, let's go look around more and see because that all happened really fast. That pony is adorable. And I thought this gray, technically a flea bit in gray was pretty cute too. Just had a little bit of a squinty eye, but you know, things can happen. Now this is almost like a blue roan Tobiano. How gorgeous is this? I mean, oh my gosh, this horse is so pretty. But I think this horse is a little bit younger and a little smaller than what I would be looking for. But yeah, there is still a variety here today. I thought this horse was very pretty, but he definitely seemed a little bit um, stressed out, like looking at his eye. And not just because that's how his eye is, he just looked like he was a little bit on guard. This was like a done. And then this horse reminded me of Miko so much. Like, oh my gosh. This bay mare was a tank. The video is not doing her justice. She was huge and she seemed really sweet as well. And then they have what's known as loose pen horses. So essentially these horses are ran through the auction and sometimes there's little to no known information about them. Their owners aren't usually present and it's really hit or miss, but they go for a lot cheaper. And it's just a risk. You can get a lot of good horses out of the loose pen. It all depends. Now, this was a really bad situation that ponies hooves it's honestly just a little bit unbelievable and that's just some of the stuff you're gonna see and you just have to push through if you want to you know go to an auction that horse was beautiful he was a little skittish i liked this roan this appy was really pretty just needed some muscling now look at this buckskin this buckskin was a decent size super pretty i saw this one being ridden around it seemed really sweet too i don't know just didn't feel the connection but loved this horse and I really liked this mare. Look at her eyes. She was a little bit like shorter, maybe like 15 hands high compared to the other horse, but seemed so sweet. 
However, she was like 20 plus years old and that's just a little too old for what I'm looking for since I've already committed to keeping Bagheera, my 28 year old forever, and I have Jiminy who's 22 who I'll keep forever. So again, all the different variables and things that I have to consider. Now this red done seemed like a good old boy, super sweet. I saw him riding around and he looked like a little dream. Now, I didn't stay for a ton of the bidding, but horses went anywhere from around $1,000 up to $5,000, just depending on the horse. I didn't really see a ton of the loose pen horses go through, so I'm not sure exactly what they went for, but yeah, I mean, prices were okay. Again, when I'm looking at horses for sale, I'm looking at the whole horse, right? Okay, so I'm looking for any kind of heat or swelling, lumps, bumps, lacerations, looking at the eyes, the nose, is there any fluids? Is there any issue going on? Does it seem like there's an infection? I'm looking at the hooves. I'm looking at the confirmation because once again, I'm here to look for horses that have potential to be riding horses. Now I'm looking for prospects. I obviously put a lot of time and effort into the horse and my overall goal is to transform them. But I also want to get horses that I know don't have super major issues up front. Once in a while, I will take on a horse that I know is going to need rehab or rehabilitation, aka like a rescue. But I can't do that every single time. And I only do it periodically because I mean, really, it is a money suck and it takes a lot of resources and it takes space away from other horses that have the potential because that's what I do, right? Like not because I'm not a rescue. And a lot of people have asked, well, Shay, why don't you become a nonprofit? Why don't you take donations? Because rescues operate way differently than what I do. And my model is completely different. And I don't want to get a mass amount of horses because I put in very individual specific time with each horse, okay? Now, again, if I did have more personal funds in the future, I would take on more rescues and maybe get a couple of volunteers. But I do not wanna be a nonprofit because it just isn't the same model. So yeah, there's some decent horses here at this sale today. I mean, anytime you buy from an auction, it's a risk. The only thing about this place is that there's not a riding arena or like a track where you can really see them move. So when you buy, when you're not seeing them ridden or moving, it's a huge risk because you really don't know how sound they are. You don't know how they're responding to everything. And even when you do see them ride like outside at an auction, it's still not obviously a guarantee. It never is. But you just want to be very careful and conscientious. And that's why I take buying really seriously. So many factors go into it, like the price of the horse. Like if you're spending a lot of money, like do they have papers? Are they registered? Like how did they respond? out when they were riding like are they sound or if you're buying cheap like you know does the horse have any noticeable in just injuries like did you see them ride like there's just so many different things that go into it so oftentimes i'll go to auctions and i won't buy anything and then oftentimes i will go to auctions and i'll buy something so you just really never know what's going to pop up now that it's been a little bit of time i feel okay about not getting the one horse even though he was absolutely gorgeous and tall and what we were looking for it just wasn't meant to be like the stars didn't align and like i said i'm going to so many other auctions between now and fall and some really big ones and some really nice ones so i don't want to rush anything and like i said i don't even have the trailer here even though i probably could have figured it out it also made me nervous because i don't have anyone here that i know who's like a shipper like there's tons of shippers but you know what i'm saying like i don't know anyone personally so that was also part of it too and yeah but it was a bummer at first and it was so emotional and like i was really heated like you know excited and nervous and all those different aspects but it is what it is and i'm just gonna roll with that so yeah like i said we'll just see how everything goes at the next auction but i'm not buying anything here today i just didn't see any other horses that really stood out to me and you know how important like connection is for me it is huge like a horse could check all the boxes be perfect whatever but if there's not a connection it just doesn't work for me also, this is the buggy parking lot, which I just think is super fascinating and wanted to show this to you. I hope you had fun looking around at the auction and we're definitely gonna be going to more over the next few months, so can't wait. All right, horse lovers, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything free spirit equestrian, and I'll see you next time, bye.